Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my eyeshadow palettes collection. So I'm going to share with you all of the eyeshadow palettes that I own and I'm going to go through them by brand. But before we get into that, uh, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you in the family. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But without further ado, let's just jump into the eyeshadow palettes. So we're going to start with the brand that I have the most palettes of and that is Colourpop. I have, as you can see, quite a few different palettes. So I'm just going to go through them in the order that I have them in this pile. I'm going to start with my kind of smaller night pan palettes and I have three of them currently. And the first one that is on top here is the It's My Pleasure palette. This one um, I picked up um, I think about like eight, nine months ago. And it's basically a purple theme palette. It looks like this. It's a super pretty color scheme and I do have a pan on this from my palettes eyeshadows. Most of the pans that are in these palettes are from that project. So if you do like those things, please go and check out the uh, playlist that I have. This palette I haven't really used too much apart from using it in combination when I did the panel that I showed on the darkest shade right there. Um, some of these shades are absolutely stunning. I think my favorite shade in this palette is Mr. Sandman right here. It's such a beautiful eyeshadow and I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a duochrome shade and it's so stunning. In general, this palette is very, very nice. I feel like sometimes I do reach for other shades uh, in combination with these though because I don't always want such a purple look. But, but it's a really, really nice palette and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. Next up, we have the Mar palette and mine looks quite beaten up because I have used it quite a bit. So this is another palette I picked up at the same time as, as my Pleasure palette. And in this I have two pans right here. It's such a beautiful eyeshadow palette and I quite like this color scheme. Um, to be honest, I haven't really used the greens and the blues too much. Um, and I mainly use like the neutral shades. But I think this is a really nice kind of curated palette and yeah, I quite enjoy it. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people don't really like this palette but I do really enjoy it. I feel like I've gotten more into those kind of blue green tones more recently so I think this is something that I will reach for again in the future, trying more of those kind of colourful shades. But in general, I really quite like this palette. Uh, it's not my favourite, but I do enjoy it. And then the last palette that I have that is uh, one of the 9 pan palettes is the Soul palette. And this one is probably the one that I've used the least. Um, and it is the one I used the least out of these um, Colourpop palettes, or the 9 pan Colourpop palettes. It looks like this and it's a beautiful colour scheme, it's very very warm toned. I haven't really been reaching for this mainly because I'm doing my Pandos eyeshadows project and I basically just kind of focus on those shades uh, mainly but it's such a beautiful colour scheme and I feel like this is one that I would absolutely love when I do wear it because it's kind of like a peachy kind of colour scheme, like warm peachy on the tones. This is one that I want to reach for more this year. And hopefully I will be able to make more of an opinion on this palette. So those were all of the 9 pan palettes. And I have now my 12 pan palettes. Um, I have the most of these. And um, the first one that I have is the Dream Street palette from Colourpop slash Kathleen Lights. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. It is the kind of blue I'm wearing is from this palette. Because I am currently trying to pan that in my Pandos eyeshadows. So this is what the palette looks like, um, that's the shade I'm trying to pan as you can see. So spoiler alert if you are following that project, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the full palette anyway. Um, I hadn't really used this much before getting that shade in my Pandos eyeshadows. And um, since then I have used it quite a bit and I do quite like it. I haven't really used these kind of brownish shade too much. I've used the shimmers a few times and I quite like this kind of light blue shifty um, shimmer. It's super super nice. But of course I have mainly been trying to use the shade Mermaid Boy since that's the one I'm trying to pan. But it's a beautiful palette. I feel like the shimmers are really nice. Some of them are quite close in tone though and I don't really feel like all of them are necessary. But in general it's a really nice palette and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. Next up we have the Element of Surprise palette. This one um, I've had for quite a while. It's one of my oldest colourful palettes. I actually think this is the first colourful palette I ever picked up. And I picked this up um, actually from um, Alexi here on YouTube. She sold it to me, so that's how I got this palette. But this is what it looks like. And again, I am panning a shade in this currently. I already have pan on this one, but I'm currently trying to pan this shade right here. So um, it's a stunning palette. It's definitely not one of my favorite colorful palettes, but I quite enjoy it. It has like some really nice shimmers, like these three right here um are really beautiful shimmers um and yeah 
Like I said, it's not my favorite palette from Colourpop. I feel like this is one of their older ones, so the formula wasn't as great as they are now. But in general, I do reach for it quite a bit, and um, I feel like some shades are in here are absolutely stunning. I feel like they look more brown than they actually show up on the eyes, because the palette is purple, so it kind of contrasts and it makes them look more neutral. But this shade, for example, is a really nice kind of rosy brown, rather than a camel, like it looks in the palette. And yeah, I do actually find myself getting quite a bit of use out of this one, so I do enjoy it, but it's definitely not my favourite. So next up we have another palette that I'm currently panning, and that is the She palette from Colourpop again, obviously. Uh, so this is what this palette looks like, um, I am trying to pan one shade in here again, so I have been reaching for it a bit more than I had before. I actually had never really used this uh, before getting this in my panel's eyeshadows. Um, so I'm really glad that I got a shade from here. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any of these beautiful shimmer shades because some of these are absolutely stunning. My favorite shade in this palette is Gal. It's so pretty. It's like a shifty kind of duochrome shade again. But these are really nice shimmers, all of them, and they're yeah, this is a beautiful palette. Um, the only thing that I'm lacking with this palette is a nice kind of crease shade because these are like the only mattes in the palette. And I feel like they're quite dark. Um, you could potentially use this as a crease shade, but for my skin tone, I wish I had something lighter as well as something to, to perhaps set your eyeshadow base. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the downside of this palette, but the shimmers are so beautiful that I'm very happy to have it in my collection. Next up, we have the I Think I Love You palette. This one, again, I have a pad in from my Pandos eyeshadows. This palette is very reflective, so I'm going to try not to blind you. But this is what it looks like. I have a pan in this black shade right here. It's a nice palette. It's, again, not one of my favorites, but... I do really really enjoy it. Um, I feel like the shimmers are quite nice. I love this kind of yellowy gold. It's so stunning and I reached for that quite a bit when I did use this palette. Um, and yeah, it has a big mix of like mattes and shimmers and some of the mattes. That's what I mean with the She palette. It has like a lot of tones in this one. So you have a really nice one here that you can use to set your eyeshadow with um, or your eyeshadow base. And then you have like a transition shade. And also like a darker brown as well as a black, which I think is good. And I rarely use blacks when I do use eyeshadows. Mainly I use it for eyeliner if I do use it. So that's something that I don't reach for that often. But I know other people reach for blacks um, in eyeshadow looks quite a bit. So I'm really happy that it's in here. And yeah, the shimmers are just beautiful. And it is a really, really nice palette. But I do have um, kind of neutral palettes that I like more. The next Colourpop palette that I have is the Give It To Me Straight palette. Um, this one is more of a rosy toned palette and I really quite enjoy this. Um, it looks like this and um, like I said it has like rosy warmer tones and I do have a pan on this one again. I haven't really played around with this much since pulling it out of my panel's eyeshadows but it has quite a bit of shimmers that I really really enjoy. And again it has a wide spread of the mattes which I got like again. So it has like some more kind of rosier mattes as well as these kind of camel mattes which is really good. And Overall, I think this is a really nice palette. I do love these rosy tones on me, so I am really happy that I have it in my collection, and hopefully I will be able to play around with this palette more in the upcoming year. So we're getting to the end of my uh, 12 pan palettes. I have only have this one and one more, but this one is the uh, Yes Please palette, again from Colourpop. And this is what it looks like. Um, I really quite like this palette and when I first put it up I think it was like the most beautiful palette ever. Um, I really like the colour scheme. I feel like now my preference has changed though and I don't really like too many yellow toned eyeshadows. I feel maybe I got worn out of wearing yellow and orangey eyeshadows from my Panache eyeshadows last year because I got a lot of those kind of shades in that roulette. Um, but I haven't really played around with this too much and again like I said when I got this shade right here into my Panos eyeshadows I was really fed up with those kind of warmer orangey yellowy tone eyeshadows so I didn't really reach for the other shades in this palette that much but this brown here for example is a stunning shade and I really really love that um, but otherwise there are some nice shimmers there are some nice mattes and if you are into those orangey yellowy looks you would absolutely love this palette. It's just something that I don't really feel like I reach for that much anymore. Uh, perhaps when summer comes around, I will feel differently, so we'll see then. But yeah, it's not my favorite Colourpop palette. So the last 12 pan palette we have is the um, Sweet Talk palette. This one I absolutely love. I love corally tones, which this palette has. So I think this palette is so stunning. Again, I have a pan in this right here. Um, and I really really enjoy it. It has two pressed glitters in it as well as a super shock shadow I think it is and 
I like those quite a bit. This is the first time I played around with the press glitter formula from Colourpop and I am actually surprised that I like it that much. Um, my favourite out of the two is this one right here um, because this one is very kind of yellowy gold and I don't really reach for that glitter that much because this one is more neutral. But in general, it's a beautiful palette. This Super Shock shadow right here is so stunning on the lids. Um, so it's one colour that I reach for quite a bit. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's a beautiful colour scheme and I'm really happy that I have this in my collection. I feel like this is something that I want to reach for a lot now in the Optical Springs. So hopefully I will be able to get some more use out of this uh, palette. So the last colourful palette that I have is this one right here, which is a £16 palette, and this is the Free My Eyes palette. I absolutely adore this palette, I have used it so much, and I feel like this is probably my favourite colourful palette ever, because it has a lot of mix, it has like those greeny tones that I really enjoy, it has like those warm ye yellowy orange, so compared to for example the SPS palette, I feel like this is more of an overall rounded palette, rather than just like a very particular look, so I really really enjoy it. I do have quite a bit of hand in this uh, due to several projects and it's absolutely stunning. I'm so happy to have gotten so much use out of this and I'm definitely going to reach for this more in the upcoming year because, like I said, I absolutely adore this palette. So those were all my Colourpop palettes. Um, the next brand that I have, which I have the second most palettes of, is UVS Place. And I have five palettes right here. So I'm just going to go through them again um, in order I have them in the pile. And I'm going to start with the nine pan palettes. I have three of those. And the first one is the Tries palette. Um, I picked up all of the three first ones quite recently, so I haven't really had time to play around with them that much. So this is what it looks like, and it's such a beautiful colour scheme. I absolutely adore this. I actually wear this kind of greeny colour on my inner corners today. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to pick it up on camera, but it's such a beautiful like palette. And with this, I feel like it's very kind of nice because you have the, these two shades right here, which doesn't really look that unique at first glance, but... They are like neutral kind of shades, so this is like a champagne shade as well as this one which is like a bronzer shade. But both of them have like a green shift which is so stunning and I feel like it just gives like this uniqueness to the eyes. That I don't, I don't have anything else like it. Um, and then obviously you get a lot of kind of greeny mattes. Um, again I haven't really played around with it too much but from what I've played with it I absolutely love it. And I feel like I'm definitely going to reach for this quite a bit this year. So next up we have the Deuce palette right here. Um, this one I actually haven't really used on my eyes yet. Um, I swatched it a bit, but like I said, I haven't really got around to putting it on my eyes yet since it is very, very new. Um, I got these um, just after New Year's, so I only had them for about like three weeks, four weeks. Um, so that's why I haven't really had time to play with them. But this is a really good, beautiful color scheme and I wanted this palette for so long. Um, I feel like this is going to be something that's really going to push me out of my comfort zone and play around with different color combinations. So I'm so excited to have this in my collection, but I just need to kind of play around with my palettes a bit more before I can give you a full review of this. But again, it's stunning and I am so excited to play around with this more. And then the final palette that I just picked up from um, Juvia's Place is the Saharan 2 palette by Juvia's. So this one um, I haven't used on my eyes either, I just swatched it, but again it is such a beautiful color scheme. I feel like this is more kind of wearable than the last uh, eyeshadow palette because it has a lot of neutrals. This shimmer right here is like the most beautiful kind of bronzy, reddish, coppery shade. It's very shifty again and very very metallic which I adore. Um, the rest of the palette looks stunning as well. You have some blues in there, which I have actually grown to like, like I mentioned before, so I'm really excited about that as well. And then you have free mattes, and I know they look quite um, kind of intense in the pants, but the thing with Juvia's Pace is that they're very, very buildable. So if you go in with a light hand, you are able to use these as a transition shade, um, and if you build them up, you're going to get more intensity, which is really, really good. So that's one thing I really like about the Juvia's Pace formula. Um, and this is again a palette that I'm really excited to have in my collection and play around more with in the upcoming year. And then I have two more palettes which um, I've had for a little bit longer than the previous ones. Um, I picked these up I think about a year and a half ago. Um, and the first one I have is the Masquerade palette. I have both of these in the mini version. So this is what it looks like. It has quite a bit more shades than the um, nine pan palettes. And the edge of the pants are smaller, as you can see. I feel like this kind of format is better because it's going to take a long time to go through those massive eyeshadows. And, and I'd rather have like smaller pants and more shades so I can play around with them more. 
So this is the palette that I've used a few times and I'm really excited to have it in my collection. And I quite like how half of the palette is very colourful and the other half is more neutral because that's something that I am um, like because although I do like playing with colours, I need kind of something to ground it with. The last UVS Place palette that I have is the Magic palette. Um, this one again is uh, kind of like a mixed palette. So half of the palette is kind of warm tone and the uh, other half is cool tone. Um, Again, this is a beautiful palette and um, it has a beautiful Juvia's Place formula, which I love. Again, I quite like this because you are able to create kind of neutral looks with it, uh, with a few pops of colours, but you also can do like a really colourful look if you want to. Um, I feel like this one is quite good because you do have a few colourful mattes, which you don't really do in the Masquerade palette. So if you would want to do a fully colourful look, you are able to do that with this palette. Um, again, I've used it a few times, not too many, and um, so my Juvia's Place palette is something that I definitely have to play around more with. 